Assalamu alaikum. Good morning. I'm here at Walmart right at the Fudger. I wanted to do a quick video and tutorial on how I do my fall plants. Okay, I don't sow any of my fall plants from seed. It's not difficult, but for me, it's not a good outcome. Okay, so here we have a lot of transplants, seedlings. Um, they're pretty good. They have a good growth on them. <clears throat> and they aren't that expensive. You get a um, six pack for $3.58. And I don't think that's bad because with vegetables, I mean, uh, Especially your fall vegetables. I need you to hold something. Your fall vegetables. Hold on. Okay. Um, <clears throat> this, when you put it in the ground, you're going to plant it container deep or a little above, like right here. And as it grow, the leaves are going to get fuller and broader and longer. And you're going to succession pick. So you get a lot out of one plant. So one tray would be good for a family of two to six. Maybe you'll get two trays if you're gonna share with um, extended family members and friends. Um, you just pick the bottom leaves you know going around and when you cut up the collards and so forth you're gonna get a good yield out of it and it's gonna last you well up into spring early summer that's when the bugs will come out and start munching on it and tearing it up they have Swiss chard Japanese mustard and regular mustard greens they have butter crunch bib lettuce. They have red romaine, regular romaine. Uh, you can see all the stuff they have. They have strawberries out. Brussels sprouts and broccoli. Strawberries. This is the time of year that you want to plant your strawberries. They have German thyme. Now, most of these herbs, your thyme, your oregano, your, um, this is oregano. This is thyme. Most of these will winter, will winter over. This is sage. <clears throat> what I would do, I would cover it. Your mint should come back, whether snow touches it, frost gets it, it should come back each um, spring. Your oregano, I cover mine. When I know that frost is coming, lavender and rosemary. These things I have to get um, to add to what I have. So I usually get one or two more to add. And their strawberries um, are looking really, really well. I, I love it. Um, it's $2.94 for um, a cup. And what I look for is fullness like this. And two crowns come in a cup. And some of them have runners that are already showing roots. So these two crowns, Amina. Okay. Crowns are these, what the plant comes out of, okay? This is the crown. It's going to be above the soil, okay? You do not want to plant when you plant your strawberries, you do not want to submerge it beyond the soil level. Collards and everything else, you can get away with it. 
Strawberries, you cannot because you will smother the crown. See, this is the, the crown. And it has to be at the soil level. I will show you what I got. So <clears throat> I got a few so that I can start getting everything in the ground. And in another week, I'll come back and I wrote down a list um, of what I will um, what I will get. Okay. All right. So this is what I got. I hope everything has a tag on it. All right. I have um, I have a broccoli, and I pinched off all the the bad. This is one of the better looking ones. And when the broccoli grow, you're going to get a crown of broccoli that's gonna be your main head. And then when you harvest the crown, when you harvest your broccoli, do not take the whole plant out the ground. Just take the crown. You're gonna harvest the crown, the main uh, broccoli head. And when you leave it in the ground, you're going to get side shoots on the stem. You're gonna, underneath the leaves, you're gonna see some growth. And then you're gonna get little spares of broccoli coming off of the stems, okay? And this is um, collard, if I'm not mistaken. Yep, collards, okay? So look for something that's really green and healthy and full. Do not get something that looks all sparse and um, thin uh, stems. You don't want to get something that's already having trouble in the pack and then you put it in the ground, which is going to get transplant shock anyway um, because it's going into a new environment. More nutritional values to the soil, um, so it has to get established to its new home. So she's going to look sad for a few days. All right, and I believe this is mm, broccoli. Broccoli? Yeah, this should be broccoli. I mean, can you find me a broccoli stick? Okay. No, 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 it's not broccoli. It's not broccoli. It's not broccoli. I already mentioned broccoli. Brussels sprouts. Yeah, Brussels sprouts. Brussels sprouts. Okay. So I have to remember Brussels sprouts don't have a stem. Okay. Um, a, a little stick. So this is Brussels sprouts. And the Brussels sprouts, they're going to grow tall, thick stalks. And on the stalk, the little Brussels sprout cabbage looking vegetable is going to grow off the side of it. And I also got um without looking without looking Mesa. okay this looks like um kale it is kale and um this is the what kind of kale this type of kale i wanted to try a different type of kale um than the curly leaf um <clears throat> I wanted something that's not going to take a lot of cook time, okay? And um, so this is why I tried this. It's more of a tender leaf, and um, I would pick on it, but I don't want to... I want my plant to still look pretty. <laughs> but um, it's a tender leaf. It's not as rough as the um, curly leaf kale. And <clears throat> I will be canning a lot um, just to keep on hand and I can have vegetables all summer um, as far as roughage. I was very sad when the bugs started to eat my greens, um, but I knew it was, it was to be expected. I knew it was coming. Um, and I got onions, onions that should grow into a bulb. I'm hoping and I pray that these squirrels do not snatch my stuff up. They snatched my other bulbs up and I didn't get any onions. Okay, the strawberries. 
So I picked these strawberries because um, I like it was full and um, the crowns are they have a lot of vines and leaves on it. <clears throat> it looks really strong and it has from the mother plant a runner. This stem is called a runner which is leading to a baby plant and it has some nice some nice uh, roots coming on it and all I have to do is sit the root in the soil still connected to the mother plant until it get established and then I can clip it off so I'll have a few plants and here I have two runners so that's four plants in my mind for two dollars and some change okay and the same with this one so for there's not two runners there's only one runner which is fine so that's three plants for two dollars and some change okay all right so this is how I get my vegetables for fall and I'll do another video on um, planting them I have a I have a series of videos because I did not know when we were cleaning out the garden that when I paused it um, my video would stop or go away and then I would have to start a new video so I'm trying to um, not figure but just take the time to piece them together and that hasn't transpired for me yet but um, inshallah I hope to be able to get um, the video together so that I can get it up along with um, my little Walmart haul of vegetable trans fall vegetable transplant so this is what you grow in fall okay you have to be careful with your lettuces because if you put your lettuce outside lettuce needs shade lettuce need quite a bit of water so you have to keep up on the water maintenance for your lettuces but in certain areas I'm in southern Alabama I'm like at the bottom of Alabama you cannot get no further you will be in the water or you will be wind up in Mexico Bahamas or some, something I'm at the tail end so I don't really we don't get snow really and when we do it's sparse and it doesn't last long um, I'm not worried about my high roughage like my collards um, Swiss chard it will not hold up if uh, frost or snow get on it um, it will be finished but your collards your broccoli um, your cabbages uh, cauliflower Brussels sprouts um, your thick sturdy leaves roughage it will hold up and they tend to get sweeter um, in taste uh, the frost will get rid of the bitterness um, so you would have to I would cover them anyway just to protect them um, which I do when we had got the snow last um, last winter but for the lettuce you want to really cover it and you want to put some mulch around it um, which will inshallah help it but um, I wouldn't put my lettuce in the ground I would put my lettuce in a pot um, and bring it inside when you get news on the weather that frost or snow is coming I would definitely 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 grow in pots the lettuce and bring it inside all right but everything else you can cover with a tarp and it should be fine I would cover it with a tarp a few hours before sundown so that some heat can trap inside and you know sustain it or keep it well um, until morning and then you want to take the tarp off because then the Sun will bake it and 
you'll have crispy kale and crispy collards. All right. Okay. Tell me, I'm, I'm going to turn the camera around. <laughs> Tell me if I'm, because I can't turn the camera around um, on the screen. So I have to turn my whole phone around. No, you can't. I don't, because we tried it before. If my hijab is a hot mess, I don't want to hear nothing. I told you it's after fudger. I made a quick run to Walmart to get the things that I needed to get started. Okay, so it's okay. All right, so um, there you have it. Inshallah, you have some insight on what you need to do, some vegetable options that you can get at your local Walmart, and um, it's it's all good whether you get it from your local Walmart or you go to your stockyard or you go to your feed store and they're selling um, vegetables try to look for the quality that I showed you um, for instance you can you can salvage this but this is not one of my better picks if I have um, better choices to choose I would not choose this one okay um, again it's salvageable but I I wouldn't bother with it right now and you can get smaller ones okay you can get smaller ones and here's a taller one so obviously this one was grown this one was grown later than this one. So you will have two, a longer growing season, okay? So I have my, my picks here. I will be back in another week or two, inshallah. My stop um, is November 1st. That's the last time that I can put vegetables in the ground, November 1st. And the start for me was around mid-September, middle to end of September, of course, all of October, ending in no, um, November 1st. Okay? So, um, I will not be growing any cauliflower or any broccoli. Um, we got broccoli. I'm sorry, cauliflower or cabbage. I will not be growing any cauliflower or cabbage. Cabbage is very, very slow. Um, and we can get it from the farmer's market a good size for cheap so i will not be growing any of that um and cauliflower is just as cheap so but um, everything else we juice it sometimes we eat it for lunch we cut the roughage up for salads like kale salad um sauteed cauliflower with um, a fried egg and some tomatoes um, yeah so these are my go-to choices they're very easy fall to me is easy crop it doesn't snow here so it rains quite a bit I don't have to go out and water um, other places you may have to um, water and and it's not bad it's not bad at all <clears throat> mustard greens I cannot wait because I don't think we did mustard greens last year mm -mm. no we didn't do mustard greens so I cannot cannot wait to come back and get some mustard greens because I don't have any so when I come back I'll be getting mustard greens one tray of um, Swiss chard I'll be getting some more collie, um, collard greens uh, some more broccoli I'll be getting I'll be getting rosemary some more lavender and definitely some more um, strawberries and some arugula so um, and arugula will be going in a pot so that it can go on my patio and when weather gets cold I'll just cover her and inshallah she'll be okay all right so there you have it Walmart haul a good place to get your transplants um, and the Sun is coming up <laughs> and we're expecting um, a, a storm it's a tropical storm uh, Florida, the Panhandle, which is not that far away, 
is um, getting the brunt of the storm. May Allah protect them and um, make it easy um, for them. And may Allah protect us, those of us in the Mobile, Alabama um, area, Bay Area, and those across the Bay. I have some sisters that are across the Bay. Um, they're by, they're closer to the water, uh, like right on the water, I should say. So I'm, I'm hoping that they come inland a little bit. Okay. Assalamu alaikum. Inshallah, be sure you subscribe. Follow my WordPress. Our little homestead. www.ourlittlehomesteadoasis.wordpress.com And from there, you'll be able to follow Twitter, my Instagram, and um, everything. Assalamu alaikum.